I can barely pronounce it. It's called what? Pinterest, I think, right? Pinterest. Pinterest? Pinterest. Okay. Pinterest. Pinterest. We'll go with okay. Pinterest. It's okay. a Facebook type thing that actually is getting a lot of attention in certain quarters. Apparently, the what is this stuff we're looking at? Because you can share things. <laughs> you share things like clothing and recipes and stuff like that. Well, it's a Facebook like site. Again, it seems to be taking us by storm, even though we haven't signed up for it yet. Well, it took us until just this year to get on Facebook. We're, you know, we are. We're not, the, we're not the, the norm. We're catching up. Chris Desi, however, is a social media expert. He was on Facebook before there was even Facebook. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Sir, uh, welcome. Thank you. So what do you think about this? Uh, new I think it's great. It's beautiful. It's visually stunning. It's a virtual pin board. So you can take the things that you like. You could post them up on your Pinterest board, and you could share them with others. Now, why? I can do that why? on Facebook. Why? We why? can do that on Facebook. I don't know why. Already, but, but already, why do I need already, to do this? Already? Rosanna, no, you're you doing it on Facebook. Do it. No, I, so why do I need to go to another place? Well, that's, that's the question. What's the difference between this and Facebook? It's very different because it's a lot. the layout is different. The way that the links create links back to the, where you're finding in, information is different. And it's the way that it's laid out, it's a visual way of people adding their collection. So if you collect something, if you're interested in something, if it's arts, if it's design, if it's entertainment, if it's books that you want to read, and you're sharing your collection. It's almost like stamp collectors can show their stamps. It's showing off things that you're interested in. So far, this sounds a lot like Facebook. It's the way that it's laid out is a lot different. The thing that's exciting and the reason why people are getting excited within the technological community, within marketing communities, is that they now have about 23 million users, but that's not it. It's that there are a few hundred thousand, a few, well, about 400 million page views. So people are spending a lot of time on it. They're engaging a great deal. And it's middle America. It's female, skewing female, and skewing middle America. So it's crafty people. It's people that are, that are, that are scheduling their weddings, planning their weddings. If, you if somebody wants to create a wedding or create something like that, they might create a scrapbook, mm -hmm. and they might have tear sheets from different magazines. So this is a virtual version of the tear sheet, and they this can create a like vision board. This sounds like just like an advertising mecca. It, it, like, it even looks commercial. It is, it looks yeah, like, yeah, it, it, it is. And there are applications that, that can take your Facebook page and make it look this way, and Pinterest is actually pushing the envelope of design. People saw how visually stunning the Pinterest website is, and they're starting to redesign their own website sites to make it replicate the look and feel of Pinterest. How worried is uh, Mark Zuckerberg right now? I don't think Mark really gets worried about any of these right. things. You know, yeah. there are 20 some odd million users on Pinterest and that's fantastic and they're referring all these users, but there's still 850 million users on Facebook. The key here for Pinterest and for marketers is that people are spending lots of time engaging with the pages. So if you are a magazine, if for this show, they should certainly have a Pinterest page. There's lots of visually stunning, ah. fun stuff. Photographs, you want to pin the photographs. It's almost, I used to work at design agencies, and the creative directors would pin images that inspired them on the wall to help them create other things. So it's a virtual version of that. All right, I, you know, you are an expert in this stuff. Your world is exploring. Exploding. Exploding. Boom. Boom. Chris world is exploding. Chris Messi's new book. But I have to say, can I read from page seven? He talks about how he goes into the studio and it's freezing cold, and then he says, Ernie Anastas, the Emmy Award-winning anchor who I'd met two minutes beforehand, started to speak. His voice was strong, assertive, and confident. Fired over Facebook posts, a first-of-its-kind case, he boomed. It's all about Ernie. Bit of a name when drop. When was the last time you went on Gre Ernie's Greg's show? in there. I'm sorry, you're not in there. Am I in here? Greg's in there. Greg's in there. Well, he, Greg Messi. invited me to speak on The Intrepid, so that, you know, that was exciting. What, <laughs> what, what page? What page? Uh, I don't have it off the top of my head. We'll find it together. Do you That's, throw a lot of colorful illustrations in? It's all about how handsome. You are. And authoritative that's, 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 and assertive and whatever. Yes. All right, so can anybody get this book, Chris? <laughs> anybody can get the book. It's uh, for sale on Amazon. You can buy it hardcover or the ebook. One, one more time, it's called Your World. Your World is Exploding How Social Media is Changing Everything and How You Need to Change with It. So if you're looking for a new career, if you have a small business and you want to learn about social media, it's certainly appropriate. Excellent, Chris Desi. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. I All appreciate right. it.